go for it. Hi, this is Vincel Fitzgerald. We're going to talk about the Zoom Text keyboard and the Zoom Text program itself. This is the Zoom Text keyboard. It's different from your regular computer keyboard that it has larger keys. So it has the same features as a regular keyboard. It has the numbered keypad over here to your right. And it has the standardized lettering as with any keyboard. You still have the tab, caps lock, your shift, space bar. You have the numbers across the top. Of course, your F1 key, your F keys at the very top. But one of the major differences between this keyboard and a normal keyboard for a computer is it gives you the ability to do uh, zoom text functions at the very top of the keyboard as well as being able to do them on top on the screen. As in uh, here you have the zoom text key which allows you to be able to pull up the zoom text. Well in this case here it's not running but uh, you can be able to pull up zoom text and, and continue working on the zoom text here. We're going to go over to the screen up here, up to the Zoom text. <clears throat> when you get up to the computer, most of the time when you initialize your computer, your Zoom text the screen will automatically pop up. Uh, it will show Zoom text. In this case, it's not, but we're going to pull it right on up by clicking on the Zoom text here. It pops up on the screen. The <coughs> Zoom text 9.1, <clears throat> the version of it. All right, it goes down to your task bar at the bottom. We'll pull it up. Here shows the, two, the Zoom Text taskbar. <clears throat> has many different features on it. Talk about the first feature, and that is we talk about the magnification. The standard uh, Zoom Text magnification is 2x, means it, it multiplies it two times. But it goes up higher, it can go uh, two and a half times, three times, four times, five times. Uh, it goes on up. So a different type of magnification depending upon your visual impairment. Now with the zoom text, if you're on a regular screen, if a normal person needs to see something that you're doing on there, you can just click on the Z itself. And what it should do is pop up. Either it pops up real big or it pops up real small. In this case it popped up big. Or like I said, if somebody on a zoom normal text enabled normally button. wants to see it, they have to just click on that and it reduces it down in size. So we're going to increase it back up here. You have many different features and stuff, and then you have, of course, the file, different actions of the magnifier, the reader, and that's going to talk about how you wanted to talk to you, uh, different settings for it, and of course, help. Uh, we're going to talk down here about some of the other features down here lower as we talk about text. Talks about how you want this to read to you in the different texts. Here, the finder, if you click on it, it finds things on the web for you dealing with Zoom text and so forth, desktop, dealing with the desktop computer itself. Focuses, focuses in by line, not by the whole screen. When you look up different information, we'll look at that, we'll go to Internet Explorer. Cursor, you pick the different type of cursors that you want to. Uh, right. If you were typing out a paper, it will have a cursor to sort of way to show you where you begin and where you end when you type in a paper. Corner gives you the ability to pick out different corners. Like right now we have a small point, we have a small corner, which is the arrow. You click on pointer. Be normal, normal check which is for normal sure arrow. Use you have a different scheme, <coughs> scheme, which could be yellow with full cross, you know, red with circle, uh, giant green. Giant. You click on the giant green, it give you a giant green point. So you can always, it, it'll always be pointed up to that. <clears throat> or you can pick other, you can pick other things. Let's go back to scheme. scheme. Control uh, key, control cross, key crosshairs, circle, circle with move, uh, large movie, yellow for short, large yellow. giant green check for so, we can go back to zoom tech, right now. zoom, and different colors. You, it didn't have to be a giant green pointer. It could be a giant black black pointer, green, blue, white, yellow, or red. With the zoom text, it has a reader capability, and with the reader capability, we're going to click on it here. Reader tab. It has different has different speeches. You click on the speech. speech. You can disable it to disable for not talk to you. USB. Neo speech English. Neo speech Paul English. For you give different people USB. talking to you. It could be Paul. It could be uh, different other people speaking to you. It has different settings Setting. for that. The rate is, for shortcut USB. is how fast or how slow you want it to talk to you. You decrease it. Speech rate. 45%. And it'll continue to talk to you, but it goes in slow rates. If you go up, it Speech goes in rate. faster rates. 
faster rates. Speech rate. Si typing. Talks to you while you're typing. Verbos. Again, it's uh, who you want to talk to you. Verbosity. Be beginner, intermediate, and expert. Beginner how fast check for or short how you want to talk to you. Different zones and speaking. So we're going to look at the, the Zoom text and how you would use it with different functions. Now we're going to minimize minimize it down. It, again, it goes down to the two bar at the very bottom. Tool tip, tip Zoom text 9.1. And it always talks. If you don't want it to talk to you, you can always cut off your speaker or you can disable the sound to it. Desk the Internet Explorer. Edit box center. Desktop activated. Internet Explorer. Window. When Windows Internet, Internet Explorer. Explorer. Accessible search, edit box, tool tip. So it's like you need to look at something on the internet. Let's look at um, Ford. And you said <clears throat> somebody was coming behind you and they didn't need as much zoom text. You go back down to the two, back to the two bar, two the zoom text, pull it back up, and decrease its size by using the magnifier, like to magnifier. Magnifier tab, size. 3x, 2.5x. And it'll make the print much, much smaller. Or if somebody needs a lot more magnification, you can pull it up and make it much bigger. If you were able to see you needed 7x. You can take it up to 7x. Zoom text user interface. Oops. To make things a whole lot bigger for you as well. <clears throat> Usually when typing a paper is where I get the most use out of it. Because it really helps me in, in right being able to do four x class. 3x. Uh, Two point. And different things like that. I'm going to show you that. Box. It allows you to type. Allows you to type. And not only do you, do you have the different fonts and stuff when you go into different format and insert to change your font, it makes it big for you so that you can see it to type. You know, to use things just to say just to. I'm gonna type down here just a T. Just a corner phrase. C. Coin. A. Just a corner phrase. And phrase. And you can use Zoom text and have whichever way you need to use it. To if that's not big enough for you, you can again increase the size. Document, word, pad, edit it'll big, box. And it'll get bigger for you to see it. If you need it smaller in size, you can always go back into the tip, zoom, back into the toolbar. Zoom and text user interface. And decrease the size. 3x. So Zoom text is very, very extremely helpful Document, for people that are very word, visually impaired, such as myself, to be able to let you type to type papers, to go in to do Excel spreadsheets. It allows you to magnify things so that you can be able to see it. But when you go back through and print it out, it prints out in a different into the format that you need for it to print out. If your instructor needs it in a 12 font, it'll, it'll still print it out in a 12 font even though it allows you to see it in 2x, 3x, 4x magnifications. So, uh, to conclude, it, this is a great tool. Tool tip Anybody show. That is fit, that tool is tip start. Disabled, it's a great tool. Use it and use it well. Tool tip.